Despite all the evidence, it appears that the former royal known as Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, seemingly just can't see it as ever. Let me explain. Hi, good to see you. You're all right today. Thank you so much as ever for your time. And by the way, I'm so glad you've enjoyed so many of the recent videos. And it's fascinating. I love the one <laughs> where I said I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, all the noises and stuff like that. I'm glad so many people agree with me. There used to be more tranquil times, didn't there? You know, when you went out, say if you sat on a bus, people were respectful. Uh, now you have full conversations with people or people watching full movies at full blast. And if you say anything, of course, particularly here in the United Kingdom, well, frighteningly, you could be knifed. It is that bad. Trust me, people are absolutely scared because it's lawlessness. Terrible situation, but as ever, thank you so much for getting involved. I truly appreciate it. Now back as ever to your royal story of the day. So Prince Harry, whatever you may think, hitting 40, you would have thought he might have had a few more brain cells by now, but clearly not. Everybody knows that Harry really struggled in the, shall we say, educational stakes. It's out there, it's noted, you know. But what I do think he has, or had, should I say, was a lot of empathy, a lot of charm, and he knew exactly how to work that audience. But behind the scenes, of course, I believe that His Majesty the King did his very best to make sure that his youngest son was protected from his own demons, as it were. You know, the dreaded demons of clearly what had become Harry's way to cope. He's openly said about taking drugs and all of that sort Sort of stuff and as we know King Charles himself tried his very best to re-correct his son but seemingly failed and then the fateful day of course really escalated when he met the cable TV actress Meghan Markle manipulative some say very shrewd very calculating but above all else controlling a bully a duchess in stilettos that leaves grown men apparently terrified I've met a lot of these partners, you know, the sort of situations in very dynamics where you meet them and say, for instance, the husband's normally the lapdog, you know, but they don't normally have the pulling power of what was, of course, the Duke of Sussex. Normally they've married and they realise that if they want to keep that lifestyle, they've got to go along with the celebrity. You see, often you get my drift. And the bottom line is, you know, they can be as rude and as nasty as they want, but as long as they're getting paid, they'll stick around. It's an odd thing to realise, though, that Prince Harry wouldn't really need to do this. He's the one with the clout, he's the one with the money. And the bottom line is, he basically must know what's going on inside the lifestyle of the Montecito land. You know, the Archwell Productions with the revolving door of staff. But according to an ex-employee, what I find incredible is the fact that while Prince Harry is uber charming to people and really nice and tries his very best, he also does not support them when they are being bullied, allegedly, by Meghan Markle. And this is very, very clear, let me tell you. It's clearly obvious what's going on there because you can see that Meghan herself is very controlling, very demanding. I would suggest the reason why it's become like this is simply this. She can't believe her luck, she's suddenly got power, and there is no way that you're going to let go of that. Staff have told of the very sort of dismayed of dealing with her, terrified to go in and suggest any ideas. Former royal staff that I've spoken to have been left absolutely frazzled to the bone because she's so demanding. So where does this leave Prince Harry? Well, according to that source, Harry does know what's going on, is very fully aware exactly the situations behind the scenes, but basically can't do anything about it, too frightened to. The bigger reason is this, and this is an important point. He said that they know, you know, and we're talking Prince Harry here, that now he's burnt the bridges. She's made sure he's burnt the bridges. So he's stuck with her. He can't leave because where else would he go and who's going to forgive him? But as many people have pointed out over here in the United Kingdom, quite frankly, he would be welcome back here alone and if he kept a low-key existence, a little bit like uh, the Duke of York, Prince Andrew. But certainly nobody wants Meghan back over here, simply because they'd be terrified of her. And whether you agree or disagree, everybody can't be wrong. Everybody knows that Meghan Markle spells trouble. So why can't Harry agree and see it? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.